Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The NG Show. My name is Ngozi. I am so excited to be doing this episode with Mr. Ugo Monye. Mm-hmm. He's a he's a he's a Jazzy. He's a Jazzy. I'm fully, fully Jazzy. Um, I would introduce you, but you will do justice to your introduction better than me. So introduce yourself. Okay, my name is um, Ugo Chukumonye. I'm the creative director for Ugo Monye. Um, it's a Nigerian fashion brand. Um, you Nigerian fashion brand is still a supposed to be the, be the first on the global on the brand from Africa. Yeah? Yes. Oh, wow. Well, how do you define global? Basically, being in every major city in the world. Wow. Yes. Wow. Major fashion city in the world. So, yeah, somewhere. What's the fashion city in, a- in Asia? Um, like Tokyo. Ooh. Yeah, Tokyo. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. Tokyo. Wow. Mm-hmm. I think that you, when I think about Ugumonia, and I've known you for a while, you redefined how classic cultural clothing looked. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, 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 like I would see, you made it princely. I don't have any other word to use for it. Like when you think about African clothing, you wear it and they, they used to think of us as cheese, but this one just made it <laughs> princely. Yeah, yes. you know, we say. And it because it was just the news. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, one of the things that we say is that we are not here to change the culture, we are only redefining it. Oh, Randa Kosha. Hey, hey. Oh my well, God. well, 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 well. <laughs> On today's episode, we are talking about uh, V fashion. Is it officially all unisex now? Like, we started having this conversation because I was, I told him that I was out. Well, that's not where it started, but I was out and about and I was wearing a boo boo, like proper boo boo that women wear, like a dialer boo boo. Mm. And a friend, a guy, walks in wearing the same boo boo that I'm wearing. He is special, his alter is them. But I didn't know that <laughs> men could wear boo boo. They, they. I didn't know. And then you said to me that the concept, what was it that you said to me when I asked you that? The concept of that particular Dialogue, boo-boo, that style, thing, it yeah. came from the man's agbada. You see, the whole neckline and everything, and now flows all the way down. But the difference between that and the boo-boo is that this, the, the, the sides are stitched up. Up, you so know. that you can... Ha- but it's the same concept. So, I mean, it can flow either way, really. They just carried our own men's thing to try to... <laughs> I, 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 I am very uncomfortable with the fact that anything I can wear, my man can wear. Anything he can wear, I can wear. It's a problem for me. I'm just saying. <laughs> so first, I said to him that I'm just going to talk about the top five things for me and some women, people that I've spoken to, that men are doing in the fashion and the look thing that have women just hanging out with their mouths open. The first is the purse. Well, why are you carrying a clutch? Look, not the purse, the man purse that our uncle okay. used to okay. carry under the armpits. Okay. Most evil men. Now yes. they'll be translated to the custom officer. You know, they yeah, had that little yeah, purse yeah, for, yeah, for checkbooks. Yeah, yeah, Big yeah, things. Yeah, for checkbooks. But now yeah. I'm talking about clutch back, but take a clutch. This man with this clutch bag, please explain to me why men are carrying clutches. And what do you think about that? It's an opinion, I'm saying. Uh, quite frankly, I don't understand it. Mm. Because, you know, as a guy, you know, we carry things. What are you carrying? Don't be angry, apart from carrying. No, 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 no. We carry things. We, and I don't see how the things that we carry as guys can even fit into that, to that um, you know. So, it's a, so the ones that are carrying it, it's a fashion accessory? It's more like a fashion accessory. You know, um, you know, it's not what our eyes are u- used to usually seeing, really. But hey, hey, need to hold that thought because at number five, we need to talk about what our eyes are seeing. But oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> so you don't necessarily. So so right now it's a fashion accessory, and you know, in an episode that I just did, someone said there are no more rules, or like the rules now are that there are no rules, mm. so anybody can do whatever it is that they want to do, and they call it creativity. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, it's very interesting. Like for me, there's something I used to say. Uh, you know, I don't know if I mentioned to you about fabric in general. Yes, you talked about. No, no, you didn't. Go on. Okay, so fabric. There's no such thing as men's fabric or female fabric. No, there is. Or... No, there isn't. Well, there is. Or... There's some lace that men should not wear. No, there isn't, and I'll tell you why. 
every list that you think that men should know where I use it, but you can never tell that I use it. It's the application, it's the way you use it. Mm, yes. Mm, okay. I can use a black shanty lace and I'll layer it on this, on top of what I'm wearing. Mm, okay, it's all okay. your the creativity, it's all the mind. Mm. So so most times, most <laughs> No, you don't know why my body is shaking. <laughs> Creativity thing is now they're using it. They're using it. I know. It's a special foolish thing. It's ugly. It's ugly. Let me tell you, nice. They didn't tell with your chest. It's not nice. Sometimes you look like a perfume. Yes, I can tell you what. You know? say, you look amazing. Like, and there's some. Sorry. So yes, you can put chantilly lace. I can on see this, that. on this, yes. and it will look. And people will be wondering, hmm, hmm, where did Ugo Moe? Where did he get this fabric yes. from? But they, they, they won't know that I actually put two different fabrics together to create it. Did you study what you do? Um, I studied business administration. Oh. Yes, but I went to fashion, a local fashion school in Nigeria, at some point. Wait, know. actually, we shout out your school. No, yeah. no need. No need. They didn't, they did not give you scholarship. You see, it. <laughs> do you people see if you had given scholarship, now he'd have talked to you. But, but that's very interesting. Yeah. So everything that you know, mm -hmm. fine. The creativity is there that you can't buy. But everything that you know, as far as like the learning of the craft, apart from your business, I mean, was studied here. Uh, no. So I, I also did like I took some courses. Okay. You know, I did uh, in South Africa. I did okay. like image consulting. Okay. Went to the UK, did uh, uh, learned how. Don't worry, you travel. Like, I thought I was going no, to No, 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 but that one is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because okay. we were talking about Jack Parr, we were saying we should not Jack Parr, so we were just. When we see we like, didn't Jack Parrise anything, but I get, it, I get it, I get it, okay. No, but majority. Was here. Everything I learned is, yes. is here. So yeah. the reason why I was in the UK was to learn how to make bespoke suits. Mm, oh, those suits. suits. By the way. But I didn't know that I was bespoke Western suits. But that's, you ended up not doing that. I'm using that same uh, style concept. or concept. That's why you see a lot of my clothes have structure, structure. and all that. Yes. So oh those, so that's what Do I'm, they have structure? Right? So in my mind, I'm like, when I was doing that, I'm like, ah. Because I felt that, okay, I'm going to be making suits and I wanted to go and learn from the best. Mm. But I didn't know that I'll find myself doing more African royalty. It was, it's just, kind of. it's just actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> no, just because they are stunning. And for me, it's not just stunning. It's when you, you can make a man look like a man stunning in a flipping turquoise cultural suit. Who does that? Hmm. It's, it's, I can't, hmm. it's the colors. Yeah. Some colors. Who, how dare you come out in that color? But then mm -hmm. it works. Okay. So we don't like the clutch because I don't see why men are wearing clutch. Put it in your pocket. There's a reason why you have pockets. Just put the clutch down. Let's do some dignity. Sorry. Yeah. So I, I mean, men's clothes are always made with you know big pockets. Yes. You know. So There's I mean, it, it, that's, that's what we're used to seeing. But you know, they, as they say, fashion has evolved. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> now this one, I have to ask you. Alright, the second thing is men who have one fingernail or the second, just two fingernails longer than the rest of their nails. And they, they flaunt it, they, they, it's a thing. Have you seen it before? I've seen it before. Do you know why? I wouldn't lie to you. I have no idea. You shouldn't, it's best, but... I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I've seen and it before. I've not seen a lot of people do it. Mm. There are plenty. They try to hide their undercover. But yeah. of them, you, yes. And I, it just... Something happens. And you just allow that one thing. And it's conscious because... Oh, I thought your finger it was not. <laughs> I, I thought she had there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And something happens and they just grow out one finger. And someone told me that... He uses it to pick small things, like when something is small. Yeah. And I said, like, what now? Like, mucus. What, what are you picking? Your nose? What are you picking? I don't understand. Okay, so you haven't, you've seen it before. No, I've seen it. But you don't know no, why. I don't understand it. Yeah. You know, okay. because it's very... So it's never come up in fashion, like, you know, like, um, you know, like how now suddenly, like, not suddenly, but a lot of people have been, but beard became a thing. No, no, um, I, don't, I don't see it on that level. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. It's not yet on Thank that level. Uh, it's okay. not yet on that level. Perfect. I'm glad we didn't spend time yeah. on that one. Oh, dear. Number so, three. Dresses and skirts. Apart from the Scottish kilt, is that what it's called? And the type of skirts that I wear, <laughs> apart from those ones, I, 
What kind of scarcity? You wear skate. <laughs> No, 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 no. I wear more traditional type, big, flowy. So instead of wearing wrappers, I, I've, I've converted the styles to skirts. Okay, so it's traditional yeah. wear. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, no, those okay. ones are really, they are, okay. they are pretty dope. Okay, yeah. okay, well, I mean, we'll put a picture up of one of them. Yeah, that, yeah, because what we are trying to, I mean, like, it's, so let me say something. Mm -hmm. And this is, when you talk of skirts, mm -hmm. or dresses or gowns we need to be able to really um understand what we're saying because it, back in the day cultural if yes. we're talking about our culture yes is the western gowns i'm talking about like uh, man now today. Uh, but, you un, but you understand what i'm saying exactly what you mean yes our men yes wore yes even the the shongos and the if you, uh, you know rapper. yes is rapper so you, right. so if you, if you think so now is this is a very very funny That's funny give me feel somehow but go on. <laughs> go on, go on, you're the expert you're the subject matter expert this is go this is very, it is a very very funny subject matter mm -hmm. because but if it well now you see some guys wear mini skirts these are the issues mini like this is mini the issue because I was going to talk about fashion week but we'll get there these are the issues you know why is it why because there are no rules do you see the problem. You see this thing with no rules. We are, we are we're talking about it, and I feel like as if we should get to a point where I don't know who am I to tell people what not to wear. But I just you get what's coming to you. Like if yeah. a guy walks up yeah. to me in a short skirt and gets a certain look from me, what upsets me is when he's surprised I'm looking at him that way. What is surprising you? Do you not see what you're wearing? <laughs> Do you not see yourself? Allow me to settle my eyes because, mm -hmm. like you say, what's that you say? It's not what we It's not what our eyes is. It's used, not what our eyes to. used to see. It's not what our. You can't come at me with a full beard, a broad chest. You know where it's scared, mini scared. Short scared. Then you take me then, time. Then, uh, then, uh, then the then hair on your leg will be. Uh, the hair on your leg is more than the hair on my head. <laughs> and you know, and I, yeah. I have to set to my eyes. So then wear boots with it, you know, with heels and all that stuff. So. Do you know why? Is it the to trend? Is it to stand out? Or so, is it truly, this is what I think my style is. You are not, and I'm not talking about you're a gay man or trans cross-dresser. No, some of because, it, yeah. some of it is clearly, some of it is actually to trend. Some of it is to be noticed. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Some of it is to be noticed. That's fair. Because if... Because we're in the era of no of Yes, because in, I mean, sometimes you see these people dressed like this, maybe during fashion week now, for example. But if you see them on a normal day, Oh, they, 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 you, you probably won't see them. I mean, it's not what they will leave their house every day. And quickly goes on where we because yeah. they know that at fashion week, yes. the eyes are out looking for yes. the outstanding, and the standouts. Yes. Content. Okay, yeah. content. You know, uh, no, not to. You know, there's streets where everybody's trying to get on some kind of platform. So people, you have photographers there taking pictures, mm. putting interesting. You know, and if you're not looks, interesting, they will not. Yeah, you, you might know not what, get. I like it. I like. I hear what you're saying. I mean, it's not for everybody, but if you have the courage to do it, it can pay off. Yeah. You'll yeah. stand up. People will notice you. They yeah. will ask, "Who are you?" Yeah. And it may lead to something. Yep. Yeah. You know. Oh, I feel. They're not being in vogue. I get it. They're not being in vogue. Where? With whom? <laughs> you know. That scared thing should not be in vogue. People should not do it. People should not do it. No, I'm one. even saying, when I say Vogue, like the magazine. In Vogue? Yeah. Who put them in Vogue? No, like online, you know, streetwear. Streetwear, yeah. For Fashion Week, you see. Because the... it leads me to the next one, which is high heels. Now, I, I, I mean, my guy, really has been wearing high heels forever. And he was doing it as a, this is my personality, I'm standing out, da 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 But I've seen that it just kind of become a thing. I see guys, on normal, they just wear high, okay, fine. And we're not, hmm. the reason I bring this up is, do you hear or see it coming back? Because in those days, our men, our dads used to wear platform heel shoes mm -hmm. with the bell bottoms and stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's not what's happening. No, that's it's different from what's happening. Okay. Mm. This is not an, a tr an era of a trend. This, this is, is just... So you have a lot of men wear, wearing more feminine style shoes. This thing is interesting. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. What our fathers used to wear was masculine platform. Mm, mm, mm. You understand yes. what I'm saying? Yes. So these are, these are. I would see them and I wouldn't. I wouldn't. They are cool. They are cool. Yeah, they were cool. Not just cool, but there wasn't anything less 
masculine, they, just, they didn't yeah. even look effeminate. They just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But no, it's something completely different. Yep, yep, yep. So and, uh, and so so just so, so sorry to, to ask you that. So we see men wearing platform shoes, and it's just because of my personal style. It's not a trend. You've not seen it emerging yet as a trend, have you seen? Mm -mm, I, I don't think I, I've not seen it emerging yet as a trend. Let me ask you the question differently. So if you notice, even okay. apart from when they walk, mm -hmm. you know, it's the walk is commensurate with the shoe. Yes. So it's it's, it's kind of it, I don't see it because it's not a very very. You, you need to have the mind and the training hmm. as a guy to walk like to, to walk, walk like, like, yes. yes. So it's a lot of work. Do you know what I'm getting? Eh? I'm getting from this conversation that we're having that right, <laughs> Ngozi. What I'm getting from this conversation is that. Like you said from the beginning, it's all you. It's very fluid now. Mm -hmm. Like how some people are gender fluid. You don't even have to be gender fluid. Fashion is officially fluid. Yep. Nothing is out of range, out of bounds anymore. I, you find women come to my office. Mm -hmm. Stuff that I, I like, I made them for, of course, men, mm -hmm. right? They will try it on, like yesterday. They'll try it on and they really look good in it. So in my mind, I'm like, is it that I made this thing for unisex? Was it unisex? Mm. <laughs> well, well, let me ask you that. When you say really look good, like men have, let's use the backside, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the way women are shaped, women will have a bigger backside than mm -hmm. men. Not, mm -hmm. not all, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. So when you make a cut that is for a man, like mm -hmm. a size 8 man, I don't know if they, how mm -hmm. their sizes go. A size 8 woman, there's no space for her derriere if she has a derriere. So, you know, now, because we're doing a lot of Baggy. baggies and, you know, Baggy a lot of... Do you yes. understand what I'm saying? So, it fits, the, it fits very, very So, I should nice. come and try and, and I like back and wear baggy pants. I'm telling you. It, you sh I mean, so, there's a particular piece, like the one I'm talking about yesterday. Mm -hmm. I did, I've never imagined it on a woman. And she Boy. wore it. Like, that's how it is. Now, you see that. I'm going, going to do a shoot. I'm going to do a shoot and it's, I'm going to have babes wearing it. So do you have it still in store? I have it. Okay, and it's mad. Like, it's great. It I mean. looks <laughs> well, we know what mad is. You're just, we know what mad is. Wow. <laughs> so now, the, 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 the final one. Is, let's, let's touch on Fashion Week now. We've talked about it a little bit, but let's talk, okay. let's talk about Fashion Week. So Fashion Week, um, it, it's a global thing. Yeah. But in Nigeria, maybe in the last 10, 12 years, mm -hmm. we really like picked up the Fashion Week. People are doing collections, mm -hmm. the seasons are happening, mm -hmm. individual designers are even curating their own shows, shows mm -hmm. and it's just blown up and I absolutely love it. I'm here for it. However, for you, who's the designer, right? Mm -hmm. What is it? And I, I want to talk about this because it will lead me to something I'm going to do another time. Is What's the prep when you guys are getting ready for fashion? Week? Preparation. Yes. Apart from just making that collection that is inspiring to you, does any of that Razzmatazz of the craziness that you've seen inspire anything that you're doing? Ah, so my own is very different. What inspires me is... So... My brand used to be You Gordon. You be, Gordon. You Gordon. Oh, You Gordon, yes. Yes, okay. and I'll change it to... So when I was... So it used to be CUC Fashion, from CUC Fashion to You Gordon. From You Gordon to Gomoe, so it has been... Evolving, evolving right so at the point where you know when it, when i was you gordon it was when it when it was you gordon it was of course it was a it was a male brand yes yeah well when we're evolving to ugo monier i knew that what i wanted to do was to make clothes be known for african royalty mm. You know, that's yeah. that's what I mean. That, I, I just knew that clearly. It was clear that that was mm. what I was going to do. So if you mm. look at when I became Ugomonye, things just changed. It started changing. Yes. So I that's why that's why like you know <laughs> that's why I said we're not here to change the culture. We're only redefining it. So we're trying to show the rest of the world how rich we are as Africans, who yes. we really are. We're, mm. we're kings. Mm. They need to see that we're kings. So for me, that's what inspires me. So I try to always. Put all those things kind of into stay there. Yes, yes. Is so, there more in that space? So, for now, apart from even the pieces, mm. even the sound, even everything that 
we don't just it's, it's, we're not just coming to show something. Mm. It's an experience. We want to feel. Oh, so even the sound, what they are doing, yes. wrong way to yes. show everything itself. needs to tie. Yeah. You know, everything needs to. You know, that's why it's a fashion show. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like, I've never. Every time people come for my shows, they always see. Like I want to hear, I okay. That would be when he tears. I'm like, tears care. It's moving. Do you understand? It's moving. This one was, I had, go this one was I had goosebumps. So one day I said, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I want to experience what people have been experiencing. You sat in the audience? I had to, yes. I, no. I, I, that's front row. So and that, yeah. And. It was a good show. Well, it was a great show. Oh. People thought it was amazing. But me, you know me, being. <laughs> I was there, I'm you're like, your biggest critic. yes, yeah, I'm like, critic. why is this guy coming out like this? Because I'd, re I'd already arranged and I'd already told someone how I wanted everything oh to be. God. But you know, somehow, somehow, things will not just be exactly uh, how uh, you wanted uh, it. And I'll see all these things. Nobody, that, fine. nobody, I nobody, think, nobody, no. nobody knew. And, and Everyone that's just, thing for me. I feel like fashion week. Yes, there's the serious fashion people. Yeah. Like you buy, I don't know if you're buyers, whatever, whoever comes to really watch. And most of them are just there for, I was here and I wanted yeah, to okay. see the fashion. Okay. Well, but we're growing. We're growing. We're growing. The summary for me is women, <clears throat> close your mouth. It's done. There's nothing, if you leave your skirt, no your hope. husband might wear it. <laughs> <laughs> if you put your shoe down, he's gonna wear it and nothing will happen. And like you said, we, we're, talk, we're having a conversation before this, but. As time is going on, because our eyes have now started to see it and settle, it will become, become less of a surprise. Yeah. But quite frankly, you know this. Even the all the different um, areas you've pointed, mm. they are not really that. Uh, it's not alarming yet. So. Well, uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> have peace, have calm, have calm, calm down. Uh, yeah. There's more to alarm us. No, no, <laughs> they've alarmed. Please don't alarm. <laughs> Do no, I, I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that it's not enough that women don't be scared yet. Your husband will not be scared. But he might. If you get to a point where it's okay to just kind of wear a long skirt and I come out. I see what you're saying. He will wear I the skirt and come saying. out because you, the skirt is at home. Yes. I see what you're saying. Uh-huh. So when you say they should not be alarmed. No, I see what you're saying. When I say they shouldn't be alarmed is that it's, it's not... Um, Mainstream enough yet. Yes. There are still a lot of, uh, what, what would, they, would I say, manly men? Yes. yes out there, yes, yeah. Yes. There's still a lot yeah. of them. We don't even mind the men being effeminate. We don't mind. Yeah. I just feel like nothing is sacred. It has all crossed lines. And because there are no more rules, everything is just kind of a mishmash of everything all together. Mm -hmm. And the point I'm making to the women, and the ones that have had this, I'll go back on Instagram and talk about it, but the ones that have had this conversation with know themselves, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. leave it. There's nothing to be alarmed about anymore. He, probably, he can wear your boo-boo. That boo-boo I bought for myself. But mom, your closet, his closet, he can go in and I wear it. I can wear it, too. That yeah. one, I can wear it. Wow. That's the one that you're talking about. You There's nothing it. wrong with it. You wear it. There's nothing wrong with that one. Are you wearing to just wear shorts under, like, boxers or underwear? No, no, under no. no I, don't, I, mean, I don't know how. I don't think I wear it like that. Mm. I mean, just like wearing a chalapia, really. Think it's about like it. Wearing it. It's different color. This is... Leave me alone. No, so I don't like this. No, 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 no. For real, it's just like wearing. <laughs> it's just like wearing a jalabia, and it's very comfortable. I don't disagree. It is you know, a so very let me I tell you. You know, I was saying something about fabric mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. Is is the mind? I don't know how we got to that point where, like, you know, when you get get to a store, you have male fabric and you have female fab fabric. No, it's just fabric. No, it's still like that, it's but like I, that. me, I don't believe in it. He's not who I should have brought. I've come here to come and draw everything out there to say. I want you to tell me it's true. Lies. No, no, but the other. He's buying uh, this from. You know, but what, I, what I'm trying to say is that it's, it's all. It's in the application. Is the, no, is the application. With you. It is in the application of things, and I think that it's important for, for us to allow creativity to thrive. I like that. And then just even take. There will be. People who will, it's subjective. Mm -hmm. People who see it will be like, Ugh. some people will see it and they'll like it. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it is, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, as other things too. What is your style so that we can wrap up? Tell me what your, and I know what you said about African royalty and that, that. But what's your own personal style? Ah, oh. You don't have? I don't have one. Wow, I like that. I don't have a personal style. I don't even is have a color. Way? So I can just feel like black is my color. Sometimes I feel like black is my color. 
us it's not my color then some days it's something yeah, else. yeah it's just it's anyhow i feel actually you like that sure. i don't have a style anyhow you I wake feel. up in the morning and today it's this this so for example every year i have a thing i can say okay man this year i just feel like giving them I'll try that, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. They'll just give them. Yeah. And the next year you give them another thing. You know. Just be giving them. Just be giving them. <laughs> hot, hot. <laughs> you see, I don't really have a style, oh, yeah. really. Yeah. I don't, so. so I'm it's not... also possible to just not have a style and just be flowing. I don't even see myself as a fashion. I mean, a stylish person. Okay. I didn't say anything. I but don't. okay. <laughs> I don't see myself as a stylish person. You know. So, I don't. In summary, we create. He's a stylish person. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Ngozi. This is Ugo. If you have any comments, make them in the comment box under the screen. Until next time, keep it real. Keep it real. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.